Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, and this is Coffee and Makeup. Today I'm going to be discussing with you all the amazing hair benefits of coconut oil and which coconut oils are best to use on your hair. So if you've been in the YouTube beauty community or been browsing around for any length of time, you've probably seen quite a few beauty gurus demonstrate a coconut oil hair mask or a leave-in or what have you. So Coconut oil is an amazing oil for your hair and it can penetrate your hair shaft better than almost any other oil out there. So if there were an ideal oil to put on your hair to moisturize it, improve its elasticity, and improve its strength, coconut oil is that oil. So a lot of times when people do these demonstrations, they are using this, the classic pure food grade coconut oil, which is amazing and of course has all these benefits within it. But what I'm going to talk about, since there are a multitude of videos about that sort of oil, I'm going to talk about some other options that you have if you want to use coconut oil, but maybe you want some more additional benefits besides for just the benefits from the pure oil itself. So the first one I'm going to discuss is this oil. It is specifically a hair oil and it's from a brand called Vatica. Not sure if I'm saying that completely right, but you get the idea. It is an Indian hair oil and the company is located in India, but you can get this hair oil on Amazon or you can get it at your local Indian grocery store. And this is a coconut oil, but it is enriched with other ingredients. There's henna in it. So henna tends to make people's hair smoother, shinier, and you may have heard that it's used as a dye, but I haven't found that this product changes the color of my hair at all. So if you have blonde hair, you might want to be a little bit cautious when using this because henna tends to add a reddish tinge to the hair, but it hasn't affected my darker brown hair at all, and it just adds some sleekness and shine. And it also has amla oil, which is made from the Indian gooseberry, and there's just a huge oral history of this oil being amazing for hair health. So this oil is one that I use for when I'm doing my weekly deep treatments, which I do every Sunday, and I encourage you if you have long hair to do the same because it's really helpful to keep your hair healthy and kind of reinvigorate it after a long week of doing who knows what with it, blow drying, that sort of thing. And I'm gonna show you later in the video how to use this as a deep treatment each week if you're interested in that. Now the second coconut oil variation I'm going to show you is this. It is Manoy oil, which is a scented oil that originated in Tahiti. So all of them are gardenia scented because the way this is made is by infusing it with the gardenia flower, but you can also get an additional scent on top of it like this one is vanilla. So it's just delicious, it smells extremely sweet, and I use this oil as a leave-in for when I'm getting out of the shower in the morning. I just leave it right in my ends and then go on with my day just as I would a leave-in conditioner. And it's extremely light and I like it for a leave-in because of that and it's also very yummy scented. So that's definitely a benefit with a leave-in because you're going to be going about your day and you want to smell good, right? So the smell doesn't last forever but it is quite delicious while it does last and this Manoy oil can be found on Amazon and this one is made in Tahiti and actually I did see that there is a YouTube channel where um, this company shows the production process which is pretty fascinating so I will try to find it and link it below but you can find these on Amazon. You want to make sure to get uh, this brand because other brands sometimes add other ingredients, fillers and stuff, but this is just the pure oil, which is exactly what you want. So I'm also going to show you later in this video how I do my leave-in with the Manoy oil in case you're curious. So right now I'm going to jump into the tutorial of how to apply the Vatica oil to your hair as a weekly hair mask. I want to warm up my Vatica before I use it, so I'm going to put a pot of water on the stove. Get the water warm but not boiling, then turn the stove off and leave my Vatica bottle in the pot for a few minutes. Now I'm back with my warmed up Vatica and I'm ready to start my deep treatment. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is separate my hair into two sections and comb the sections out. The reason I'm combing my hair before my deep treatment is that I don't want any hairs to get ripped out when I'm applying the oil and I found that this is easier to avoid if the hair is combed. Also wear an old t-shirt because this process can be a little bit messy. Now I'm going to open up my vatica and pour a bit into the palm of my hand. I don't know if you can see this but you want it to just be barely filling the cupped portion of your palm and then rub your hands together to distribute the oil. You can see the oily sheen right there. And then I'm going to massage this oil into the length of my hair. Now the driest part of my hair is my ends and that's where I'm going to be focusing the most oil and the most attention when I'm doing this deep treatment. But you should tailor this to you so wherever you have the most dryness is where you should put the most oil. Also, I'm only doing the length right now, so I'm putting oil from the ears down, but nowhere above the ears, and I'm going to focus on that area later. So here I'm just repeating the process again to get my hair very thoroughly covered with oil. As you can see, my hair looks almost wet with the oil, and that's good because you want each strand to be coated individually in order for this to work best. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other side of my hair, just applying the oil, focusing on the ends, and massaging it in until it's coating each and every hair. And once we've gotten all of these hairs in our length coated from my ears down, then I'm going to reunite these two sections of hair and focus on my scalp, which is what I'm doing right now. So I'm putting the hairs back together, and then I'm going to get some oil on my hands and start rubbing it right into my scalp. Don't be afraid if you're doing this treatment to put oil on your scalp. It's very good for your scalp, especially if you're using Vatica, because Vatica has lemon as one of its ingredients, and that has been added in order to help with scalp health. And in particular, if you have dandruff or dry scalp of any kind, this will help you tremendously. So I'm just massaging the oil from my scalp in, into the red hair that I may have missed when I was doing my length. So when this is done, you want every hair to be covered from root to tip. And if that is the case, you can then put your hair up into a high bun. So have a scrunchie handy. And the reason you want to put this bun on the top of your head is because the coconut oil is going to weigh down your hair. So if you put it on the back of your head, for instance, then your hair is going to be so heavy and it'll pull on your scalp until you get a headache, most likely. And this has to be left in for at least one hour to be effective, so it's especially important that it's comfortable. So put your bun directly on top of your head and you shouldn't have any issues. And then after an hour, or you can leave it in for however long you want, you then wash it out thoroughly with shampoo and your hair will be silky and gorgeous. So remember, one hour at least. Now I'm going to show you my leave-in treatment, my daily treatment with Manoy oil. So here's my Manoy oil, really cute bottle. And I'm just going to open it up and get a little bit on my hand, about a pea-sized amount. And as you can see, my hair is wet because I've just gotten out of the shower, which is the perfect time to do this treatment. So I'm going to massage that pea-sized amount of oil into my hands until it is a liquid again because it was a solid at room temperature. And then I'm going to massage this oil into the ends of my hair. Now you don't want to overdo it with an oil leave-in treatment because you don't want your hair to look oily as if you haven't yet showered. So be sure to only use a little bit and focus on your very dry areas like the ends of your hair. And then if you have a little bit left over on your hands after doing that, you can rub it into the rest of your hair to give the rest of your hair a little bit of a moisture boost as well. And also Manoy oil is great for the skin. So if you have any excess left over on your hands when you're done, rub it into your elbows, knees, or any dry areas and your skin will surely thank you. So here we go, I'm finishing up and I'm going to rub the excess into my elbows. And that is how I do my Manoy oil leave-in treatment for daily use. Okay guys, so that was my little tutorial on how to use Vatica oil as a weekly deep treatment and how to use Manoy oil as a daily leave-in conditioner. 
So let me know what you guys thought of this video and tell me if you've had any experiences with coconut oil. Does it work well for your hair? Are you interested in trying it? Do you have any questions? Anything that you want to say, I would love to hear it. So leave your comments below and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.